I'm going to show you how to properly open a deck of cards. This is a method I've used for many, many years now and it can be done with multiple things. I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a knife and also a playing card. A little warning, if you are too young to be using knives or you're not comfortable with a knife, just use a playing card. Doesn't matter what one you use, you will get the same results. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and we're going to push right here on the seal. Basically there's a seal covering this but there's a little cut in the box so it's easy for you to get your thumb here when you are opening the box. But you're just going to push like that and basically stick that part of the sticker down. Now if you look at the seal now you can see there's a slight indent there from where that cut in the box is. This is going to help guide your card or your knife that you use to cut the seal properly. So this is the way that I do it. Some people do it the opposite way, but this is how I personally do it. You're gonna put the card's corner into the deck like that, only by that much. So you see how it's only there just a tiny bit. All you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be putting your finger here and you're just gonna be pushing. There's something that chefs when doing things in hospitality where they say let the knife do the work and it's the exact same thing with this playing card when you're using it. All you're doing is applying slight pressure, you're essentially holding the card in place while the card does the work and it's gonna kind of cut down in that little indent that you made. You're just gonna make sure it's just the corner doing it, you're gonna make sure it doesn't go any further in or anything like that. You just want to have complete control of it and you're just gonna keep applying pressure, keep doing that. You see how we are cutting around like this. One thing I must mention is that you must make sure that you're not pushing ridiculously hard on this card. It's much better if you just apply a, a nice amount of force like that and you let the card do the work. So when you're about halfway here, some people will just kick it up like that and then just apply the pressure. But to make this easier and more consistent is I just put the left hand corner of the card here. You're just gonna push slightly and it's just gonna go down exactly where you applied that pressure. So now we have broken this seal. Now you'll notice that it's not completely immaculate. You've got this little dip here and you still have a bit of sticker here and here. This is the same thing if you cut the deck long ways like one of my friends does. I just take the seal and I just push the excess sticky bits just in there. You'll be able to tell by touch, you're just gonna fold over the bits that need to be folded. So when using the knife, you're gonna do the exact same thing that I'm doing. You make sure that you follow all these steps to get a nice clean cut. And I will try and show you what a really neat cut looks like, even though I'm at a very awkward angle at the moment. See, I never usually have a problem when doing this. Usually it's a very nice clean cut, but because every, it's on camera at the moment, I, uh, I'm messing everything up. But even me showing you a bad attempt, you can actually see that it looks a lot better than just kind of cutting it long ways like that. Now if you use a knife, it's gonna glide along a lot easier. That's a very important thing to note. Just remember, if you're too young to use a knife, then just use a playing card. It doesn't matter if it's got a little bit of sticker coming off or whatever. Just think about it like this. It, would you rather just cut the seal and a bit of sticker comes off, or you use a knife and you cut your finger really badly and you can't practice cards for weeks? I know which one I'd rather do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on how I open my card seals. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the best example, but you get the idea. If you would like to grab either of these decks of cards, there is a link in the description to our website, a nice standard deck or a bridge size. We do have both available. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.